Hello there guys and welcome to Cox Night Gaming and welcome back to Starbound. I'm back again with my speed playthrough. It's been actually a day or two since I've played this. been uh, playing some other games of it. But um, yeah, so I'm back and I think we just finished the robot. We just beat the robot. So uh, I've got my processor so we should be able to make the robotic crafting table. Um, oh yeah, and that was the reason we didn't make it was we needed a bit more steel. So... I've also got a feeling that once I've done this I'm going to need to make a bit more steel for the sake of the star map. So uh, let's head down to the planet's surface and let's look for some iron. We're going to need a bit more iron. Uh, I can't actually remember if I've cleared this planet out or not, is the only problem. So we'll head over to the side and see what we can find. Hmm, That's the problem when you don't play for a day or two, <laughs> you lose track of what's actually gone on. I suppose we could uh, head down into the, the depths. Uh, do I have any torchoirs? Uh, I don't appear to have any. Can I make any torchoirs? Yes, I can. I've got 10 unrefined wood, so we might as well make 20 torches. There we go. Uh, where have they gone? There they are. Let's put them on there. Just put my processor nice and safe. And see what we've got down here. Any iron? Nope. Denied. Alright then. Come on, there we go. I forgot how cool my uh, my uh, human looked. It's one of those things, I've always not liked playing as humans in any game really. Um, unless like you're kind of forced to because like the class you want to play is like restricted to human or something like that. Um, which is what I found in um, the Baldur's Gate playthrough me and Ed have just started. Is um, I was forced to play human if I wanted to be a mage. It was uh, it was either that or elves, and I I I, I can't play as elves. I I, I just don't like them. <laughs> Legolas is maybe the slight exception, but you know even then it's it's a push. It's a push. Um, all right, we found a little bit of iron, so we've got to hope that this uh, place isn't thing. But yeah, like actually having played most of the other races now, I think there's only uh, one race which I haven't played, which is the Hyotl. Um I, I actually think the humans look really cool, and like, especially when wearing, like, say, costumes, because obviously I've been doing these uh, costume spotlights as well at the moment. Um, my original mannequin kind of character I made was a Hyotl, but then I was trying on some of the costumes, and it's just like, these look, obviously they're still good, but like, I could tell, like, they would just look ten times better on a human, like, especially something like the uh, the Pixel Hero armor. There's a human head which kind of has the Superman kind of flick at the front and stuff like that, and it's just like, why am I not a human? <laughs> it's like stuff to see. Oh, we've hit the mother load of iron here, so this might be us sorted already, which is quite good because I didn't want to spend too much time farming iron, bearing in mind we're on to like the next tier now. Well, theoretically. Oh, that is a nice, nice chunk of iron. We've got one on the other side as well. Nice. Noish. Noish and tweet. There we go. That's all that. Let's head down here a little bit more. See what else we can find. Got some silver or something up there. Uh, some copper. Uh, oh, we've got some coal. Always good to grab coal. There we go. I'm trying to remember what the next metal is now. I think it's titanium. And titanium, I think, is one of the quicker... Uh, tears because it's absolutely everywhere. Okay, yeah. Once I've got this bit of iron here, we've definitely got enough. Definitely got enough. Let's just throw some tools. And I'll grab that coal as well. It's a nice chunk of coal. Uh, have I got my axe on me? And my axe! Uh, I was actually, I watched my the uh, robot video back um, before playing this just to kind of remind myself. And I'm surprised how easily I actually managed to beat that because. The last time I did the robot was um, with uh, Bramble, and with well, with Bramble, um, I, I by the time I got to the robot boss, it was while weapon damage was still really broken, um, in the like the good direction. I can't bother to get that; it's got a weed in front of it. And so I, I literally one shot the boss. But then the only time I've done it other than that was with my very original character before the. Um, character wipe which was Coxbot and I don't know if you guys uh, remember the video. Did I do a video on it? I must have done. All I remember is just absolutely getting one shot 
like every time and while this guy was hitting me this time I just felt like it was a lot more balanced and I feel I, I feel like the boss fights are in a really good place at the moment they've definitely listened to player feedback you know done their own testing I'm sure and like you know the game feels really balanced at the moment I still feel like it's missing some sort of reason to progress like I, I, I just don't have that kind of I don't know I don't know the like how to explain it really could just because it's not that I know what is missing I just feel like at the moment there is something there is something missing and I know obviously it's beta and you know it's it, there's more coming but um yeah like I'm, I'm it's just that I'm like, anticipating what it is that they're going to add cuz I just definitely feel like yeah what, like and I know obviously past um tier 4 um they haven't actually really implemented it yet it's it's 1 to 4 is like kind of what they're trying to perfect before they kind of continue on with the the game. Uh, so let me just smell this iron. I'll talk while this is going on. Um, and so yeah, so it's just like oh, I just I don't know what it is. Just something's missing. Some sort of reason to want to progress. Like some sort of re reason to want to settle down. And it's I've, I've had a few ideas of like how I felt like the game could be better like to kind of have this maybe overall goal but then again with a game like this a sandbox do you really want to have this kind of overall goal like my, my idea is basic like, I might do a video in it sometime and like explain like all my thoughts but um, like the the main gist of it is that you know you have this kind of starting story at the moment where okay you're, you're, you're out of fuel cool that's it go down to the planet you got some woods that's it you're, you're sorted now Whereas I feel like, really, you know, what if you, you you crash on a planet and you're like stranded away from your home planet? And what if each race had a home planet? Um, and for those of you who are, say, Star Trek fans, the kind of I think it's not uh, Star Trek Voyager. I think it's called the one with the lady captain. Oh, it's been so uh, Ka Catherine something. Oh, you guys have to remind me of the exact names of the cards because I've I've mind blanked. But um, right, so I need to pick up this crafting table, uh, just just not get too distracted. Um, and yeah, it's just that kind of feel. Like I feel like every race should potentially have a home world, like an absolutely huge planet, which is just like this hub of their race, pretty much. Um, and like potentially, if you're like, if they add in some sort of thing where like different races have different uh, reactions towards other races, so I, I think. I've read somewhere that the the Florins and the Hyotal are kind of at war with each other or eat each other or something like that. And so, like, potentially if you're a Florin and you ended up on the Hyotal uh, homeworld, the whole planet's just going to be hostile to you and trying to gun you down and stuff like that. Um, but obviously, if you're a Hyotal player, you know, you, you're what, what leading back to my original point, as this, like, eventual goal, you're stranded absolutely light years away from your home sector and your goal is to make it slowly back to your home planet and once you've done that then obviously the game's kind of complete and you can um, then just use it as a sandbox but you know that would kind of give you this goal to want to kind of progress through and because obviously your, your ship has crashed at the very start of this story and you're you're just stuck on this planet in the mid middle of nowhere you actually have to build your ship is your first objective like I feel like you can get off your starting planet a bit too easily and I feel like uh, sorry for getting sidetracked here actually let me let, all right let me let me come back to this point so let me build this now um, I'm gonna land on a new planet and I'll talk about this while I'm grinding mats because otherwise you guys are just gonna be listening to me talking standing still when I could be doing something all right so new blueprints unlocked uh coal I've got no uh do I have enough coal to go to I don't do I oh fuck's sake um how much is this gonna give me 99 how much wood do I have cut down some trees and get some coal I think guys oh sorry all right well I'll carry on from where I was talking about then um so like, I just feel like so you could, should, should kind of be stranded on a planet to start with because at the moment I feel like while it's nice to be able to jump planets I feel like there's no real desire to stay on a planet um, like obviously, if you built something on a planet, you'd, you'd you'd feel it's your home and stuff. But for me, like even with my very original character, if you remember, if any of you have watched the Coxbot playthrough, um, 
he, like that was like one where I kind of treated it like Terraria. I built myself a house on my starting planet, all my chests were in my house, and it wasn't till near the end of the playthrough when I kind of realised, you know what, I'm meant to be cutting down trees, aren't I? Yeah, when I kind of realised, you know what, it's probably more convenient to have everything on my ship. And I kind of feel like that's a little bit of a shame. Like, I feel like we need to have more reason to build stuff on planets. And that's why I was thinking that you shouldn't be able to refuel your ship on the go. I feel like we should have to build, like, spaceports, like, on, on planets. And that's kind of what you need to do on that starting planet that you've crashed on. You need to, like, with, say, you're the, the salvage of the, the ship that's crashed there, you can, like, make yourself a kind of makeshift... Um, spaceship docking station and from there you can like harvest the planet and I, like, I'm expecting like if you know like, obviously this would never come to fruition this is just kind of how I feel the game should go but you know in my head you should be stuck on this planet for a long while you need to bleed this first planet dry to be able to man uh, then get a spaceship to um, get off it and then um, I just feel like that would give you so much more kind of a sense of accomplishment rather than just getting one coal from the surface and then swapping planet and then obviously eventually you can get into the whole um mentality of uh planets i'm visiting now i can just easily travel off of because I, I like it but i feel like um like i like because that's obviously how the game plays at the moment like you just jump planet to planet and i do like that but I feel like it's not necessarily what I want the whole game to be. I feel like that's the kind of thing I want to build up to. And so if there was um, this kind of sense of being absolutely stranded at the start, which you then slowly get over, um, I feel like it would be a lot better. Like, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's hard when I kind of have to wait to read your guys' comments in a little bit, because I don't know whether I'm talking absolute crap or not until later on. Uh, so, which I probably am, I probably am. But I mean, that's just the kind of vision I had for the game, and I, I just kind of feel like it'd be cool to, um, like, oh, I, I definitely think they need to add in, not, because obviously you can mark your home planet, but I feel like they need to add in a way to just mark planets anything you want. So like, suppose you to find some cool wing drops or something, you know, you can mark this as the wing planet or whatever. But like, in, like, in regards to my, my idea kind of thing, like, I feel like, um, crap, there we go, I'll go in X, there we go, uh, like, so you'd, you'd have to refuel, sh refuel your makeshift spaceship at this, like, first planet, um, where you've built this, uh, spaceport, and then you can only travel so far, like, I think they need to do, a uh, do away with the whole thing, I feel like they need to make just one absolutely huge star map, like, I, I think, you'd get so much more from that because obviously um and it's like because obviously you can go at the moment you can go to like a, the next tier level of planet with just 200 fuel or whatever and that's it you've traveled to the new sector it doesn't matter where you click on the new sector it only costs you 200 fuel and i feel like that's kind of it it, it just negates the whole need for fuel and like i feel like maybe there should be sometimes a big gap in space where there just isn't a planet you can land on or a planet you can um like travel to worthwhile and so if you want to uh refuel you need to make sure that you're going uh, far enough away from your space station that you have enough fuel to a get back to your space space, uh, space station to to then refuel again um if you know what i mean um but also, if you want to travel further than that, you're either going to have to then, say, upgrade your fuel capacity somehow by upgrading your ship, or you're going to have to farm the resources to build another space station along the way. And you'll obviously kind of have this mix between A, upgrading your ship so that it can travel further, and B, uh, colonizing uh, new planets. Uh, so that you can refuel at later stages and obviously there might be the odd planet here and there which has like a friendly refueling uh, post ready built on it but obviously there's no guarantee to that and you know you never know it could be a hostile one and you have to take it by force and then you can gain control of it um, and I just feel like this is all kind of stuff which would really kind of give purpose to the game and um, really give you that kind of sense of adventure rather than because at the moment I mean this is one of the reasons why I took a few days off this speed run as well was just the fact that you know there's I mean again I know it's beta I know 
you know, everything's not implemented, and I'm sure there's going to be more, like, oomph, like, going to be added in, in future patches, but, you know, at the moment, I, I don't even really see a need to roll another character, even if I swapped race, kind of thing. It's, it's like, apart from the sake of giving you, uh, making an armor video for you guys, like, that's the only real reason I have for rolling human, and, like, other than, like, over having made my original Bramble character. I'm, I'm, I think after the next wipe I might make my character a human just because for some reason they just look cool. <laughs> I don't think their racial armors are that great to be honest but like for the sake of wearing vanity items which the majority of us I'm sure will be doing I think they look the best. Uh, there we go. Uh, do we reckon I have enough wood? How much do I actually have? But I mean that, that's just my idea. I'll be interested to hear your, your thoughts on it and like if uh, a lot of people like it. Maybe I'll throw it up in a post somewhere for the developers to see, see what they think of it. But um, I, I think it definitely has has promise uh, to it. And like, I, and even if they don't use that idea, like I feel like they need to add something which kind of would have the same impact on the game. Like we need to have some purpose to do what we're doing, other than the sake of just eventually getting the best gear ever. Like, yeah. I, 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 I think that's it. There's no coal on this planet at all. Oh dear. Oh crap. That hurt. Ow. There we go. Oh, there's some coal. I think I potentially have enough now. I hope at least. Why am I using an axe to get coal? Come on. There we go. Let's just go a little bit further. Wow, this guy's tough nut. Tough nut to crook. Alright, we got any more coal? I want like one more coal vein. There's one. Almost dead as well. There we go. Right, let's get this coal. I'm gonna head back up to the ship and smelt this wood. Oh yeah, this has been a long episode just to kind of get to the next set of uh, planets. I, I can't wait till I get to a planet where I start getting uranium. I think it's not till after the alien jelly though, unfortunately. Right, let's uh, eat my corn. I'm actually quite enjoying this corn. It's quite nice. Uh, and it, uh, I commented to someone the other the other day. I don't know if anyone's read it or not. Um, the playthrough I'm planning to do uh, after the next wipe is actually a food-based playthrough. Um, one of the reasons like, I, I've wanted to be doing a video on all the different food types and farming types uh, for a while now, but it's just been a case of getting time to do it while playing other games and. Uh, like filming with Ed and all that kind of stuff so yeah, I, I think I'm going to make it into my next playthrough to like to kind of give myself what I've just said the game needs like a reason to play so what I'm, kind of what my next playthrough is going to be is actually going to uh, do stuff while I'm doing this again I keep getting engrossed in talking and not actually playing <laughs> um, there we go and so like my, my kind of reason to play is that I'm going to be a character who's making a restaurant so like obviously first few episodes I might be building the restaurant on a planet and then following on from that I'm going to be trying to unlock every single recipe in the game so I'm not my my because you know you've seen me get up to Impervium now twice like after this playthrough you will have um, and so I don't really feel like you guys need to see it again unless they drastically change the game and I'm sure as I play through it I, I will eventually get uh, end game but the main focus is going to be uh, searching planets with new types of seeds searching for merchants that will sell me new recipes or just finding new food recipes on my own in chests and stuff and obviously you know finding new ways to get new ingredients because uh, I'm sure it's one of those things like uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the um, the glitch towns but they seem to have uh, poultry farms uh, like chicken farms and I'm wondering if there is a way to like recreate that yourself like because I've killed the chickens to see if like you know maybe they drop eggs or something like that but um, they didn't actually seem to drop anything but I'm just wondering if there is going to be a way where we can create our own animal farms in this things that does seem to be like a component that they do have in the game uh, so how much coal have I got from this 70 I might actually ever be enough I might have enough there we go, that'll do. Okay, cool. We're doing it, guys. We're heading to the Gamma Sector. I'm going to head to a bit which has kind of a nice bunch of planets grouped up closely, like this one here. Uh, what do we reckon? I reckon... What sounds good? I reckon Flummox sounds good. And that has got a lot of planets in that vicinity as well. Um, let's try and find a desert, because that will help us mine quickly. There you go, level 3 desert. 
We're on our way, guys. We're on our way. And uh, as I've said in previous videos, the reason deserts are so nice is because you just find some loose sand, you just go boop, and everything falls down. You get all the ores really quickly, and you know they reveal ores better because obviously everything falls down as you get stuff. Should we adjust my headset? There we go. So all right, we're on the way. So I mean, I I think it sounds like a cool playthrough. Obviously, let me know what you guys think on that. Um, is there anything new I can build? Oh, okay. So we've got the titanium stuff now. That looks, oh, that's. I'll tell you what. The human weapons, while they're basic looking, they do look pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, that sword there. I really like the look of that. It's so simple, but it looks so good. Oh, that axe actually looks really good as well. I just like humans. I think. I think I'm sold. I think I am sold. What we've got here. To be fair, I did actually really like the florins as well. Like, I, it was more the florin armors I really liked. The florin weapons were cool. Like, especially like the fact that my final weapon is just I'm actually holding a tree branch. <laughs> it's just a bit of power. But um, you know, it, it, yeah, they're really cool. All right, what we got? Oh, chest straight away. What we got? Give me tech. Uh, twenty-seven. What's this? Twenty-six. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to use it because it's one-handed, so it's short range. But uh, let's get going. Isn't that my pet from uh, my How to Capture a Pet? It's, I think it's the same body with different heads. I think the heads on my How to Tame Pets video was more like a, a penis. There we go. Gold. So I'm after titanium and I'm guessing gold, actually. I, I might be after a full set of gold armor here. There we go. Might as well get some pixels while we're going. Uh, definitely going to get this coal. There we go. Oh, we've got... I'm not sure what that is. Is that platinum or is it titanium? I'm going to go... Into, oh, it's silver. None. None of the above. Uh, what we got? There's some titanium. Alright. Uh, so, I should probably have worked out how much I need. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to need about... 200 odd ore of titanium. Uh, what's all this up there? Silver. Right, let's get out of here if I can. I can't. There we go. Slime, slime jumps. Where are we? Okay, these guys are going to be hostile. Ow. There we go. Got him in the end. Right, what we got? Nothing. Gonna need to make some more torch oh, I'm running out of coal and wood now. There we go. I'm gonna have to just run the surface, I think. Alright, where are we? Okay, we've got some more coal down here. Do I need. Is there something that uses coal and titanium? Oh, I think it's Dura Steel. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna need an absolute crap ton of titanium. Bad times. I mean, this is what I mean though about the game at the moment. It is just a lot of grinding with the mining, which is it's not great to be honest. But um, I, I, it's one of those things that for some reason I enjoy it. <laughs> it's like I, I hate it and I I like I like it at the same time. And I, I think it's more I enjoy exploring the planet surfaces and it's like mining is just something you can do along the way. And so I don't mind it so much, but when you literally, I think because obviously I'm trying to do a speed run here, so I, I'm neglecting the exploring as much, I think it kind of takes away from the actual enjoyment of the game. And so I think that's why I've kind of started taking this speed run a bit less serious uh, on, on the speed front. And I'm actually just kind of playing as I normally would. <laughs> so uh, maybe I should rename this to just a normal playthrough. <laughs> but um, I mean, I'm, I'm still not uh, kind of exploring as much as as I would have done if it, if uh, I normally would. But I mean, I, the main thing I'm regretting with this is uh, obviously because I'm not going to like every planet under the sun. I'm not finding any Apex Labs, which means I still don't have a single tech on this character. Which is re it's really uh, dragging on a bit, I must admit. Uh, what we got? Ow, that was a big drop. Alright, let's definitely put some torches down. Well, those things look nasty. Alright, we've got some titanium down here. Uh, gonna get up there. Nope, apparently not. Let's try this again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! And this is what I mean about <laughs> uh, desert planets, guys. There we go. Alright, so anything else to be found? 
Not that I can see. Whoa. Oh crap, this guy might kill me. Fuck, say that. That's quite, he's quite tough actually. Alright, so escape. Do I have enough titanium? Yes, I do. I'm going to make a new weapon. I think it was five bars for the sword. Ten, possibly. Let's check. Um, let's see this on ten. Nine, ten. There we go. So I can now make an awesome broadsword. Which doubles my dips. So that one? Yeah. Cool. How's that look? Pretty sweet. Let's head back down. Might as well run in the other direction this time. Oh, don't tell me it's getting dark already. We've barely just reached this planet. Let's get sell some coal. Let's knock all this down. Might as well get all this copper over here. And you saw how quick I just got all that ore then. That's just it's wicked. It's well wicked, man. Alright, let's get this coal. Can never have too much coal. Please don't be hostile, thank you. He's hostile there. There we go. Sorted. Get myself some more gold. Can never have too much gold. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of craving a new costume piece, I must be honest. Like, I feel like sci scientists have worn it too long now. I like to mix my costumes up. Whoa. Take an aggro. Go. Got a nice bit of titanium down there. And another bit of total. Alright, whoa, we're hitting the mother load here. This is what I mean about titanium. Like, it's while it's obviously a tier where you do need to use a lot of it, especially for the um the boss item. I think it requires fifty titanium bars. Um, which is obviously a hundred. I might be wrong with that, maybe it's changed, um, but I, I remember it not being that painful to get actually, just because it port spawns uh, so uh, commonly, and in like quite big um, portions. Screw that guy, screw this guy as well. Are you serious? Fuck my life! God man, the damage, the damage, it's too much. I suppose I could... Should I dig down or should I stay above ground? I don't know anymore. I just don't know. That's the point. Now that I've used the second star map, I think I can possibly make the lantern stick. That might be worth my while. Especially if I am ever tempted to go below ground. Alright, let's just explore above ground. Let's just do the whole circle. Because we found quite a lot there, just above ground. Let's maybe put my titanium ore up here so we can get the counter going. Uh, so we're on 27. We probably, I reckon, we're going to need about 200 or all. So uh, let the grind begin. We've got anything here? Yeah, nice bit there. A bit more silver. Uh, let's just keep kind of doing this. Anything else? Um, nope. Nope. Oh, for sake, almost made it. There we go. Oh, I feel like I've mined that already. And that. So I've definitely been this far. I thought I, thought I didn't come as far as this, to, to be fair. Although there is a torch down there, so I obviously have. Maybe this is where I fell down and died. Oh no, we've got some slime here. Definitely been here. Oh yeah! Oh, I think maybe that's where I died, down there. Because I haven't got this titanium up here yet. Which suggests I haven't been this way. Uh, I feel like there's titanium below me here. Two bits. Was it worth it? Probably not. Let's get this bit of gold. So this way. Ooh, this is worth it though. Jackpot! It's about, about nine. Yeah. That's point. I could maybe upgrade... Oh, I don't think I have the pixels for it. I was thinking I could upgrade to a platinum... Uh, Picarx. There we go. And oh, do I have enough a, a, di a diamond on it? I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I've lost track of my, my diamond count. I don't think I even have them on me, do I? No. No. Alright, I've got another bit of titanium there. Hopefully it leads to more than just one. Yes, it does, which is good. Um, I appear to be completely submerged in sand, which isn't good. 
Oh crap. I hate it when they jump like and it lands right on top of you. That's what for that one then. Yes. Oh crap. Song to uh to the <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Why do you guys watch my tutorials? Alright, let's run back this. Fuck my life. I think this will be my last death on this planet, then I'm I'm up in ship. Oh god, there's loads of them. Right, I'm doing quite well though. Boom. Boom. Oh too good. Too good. Alright, there we go. We're up. He's just gonna Oh, that dodge. Let's just run away from him. Whoa, are you serious? Oh my god. I am so dead. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm off this planet. I'm off this planet. I'm gone. I am gone. I smell uh, what little titanium I might have. Titanium I'm num. Uh, that's 25 bars there. That's at least a bit of titanium gear I can get. Uh, let's just head over to the jungle next door. Welcome to the jungle! Uh, that's actually my first titanium bars, so I won't actually have any of them yet. Let's delete all these weapons, clear some space in my inventory. There we go. Um, what do we want to do? I don't know anymore. Let's just delete everything. Um, snowballs, don't need them. Campfire, whatever. Uh, so, where's these titanium bars gone? Up here. So let's come here. Is this armor going to cost lots of uh, pixels? It probably is, isn't it? Yep, yeah, tied to iron. It needs the gold set as well. Lame. So, can I make any of this gold set? Do I have any of the gold set? Is there a better question? No, I don't. So,. I can make myself. Oh, if I hadn't have died, I would have had enough for two pieces. That's. Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, so I can actually make all three pieces. I just need more pixels, uh, which is nice. So, how much does this need? This needs 35 bars. Uh, so that's 47 bars. So I can actually put a few of the. I can actually put all this ore into the refinery. I've got 200 in there, which is nice. So let's now come back here and make the gold, whatever it was called, the gold greaves. Um, so we've got that. That is more, right? Yeah. We've got that. We've got that. Let's put these in here so we don't lose track of the racial set. There you go. And. We should hopefully have enough for the golden chest plate now. Yes, we do. And so, what do we need for this? It's going to be 67 bars again, but wow, you need quite a lot of XP. Oh, God. So, let's put the gold chest on. There we go. I might. Uh, yeah, I don't like the look of the gold uh, chest at the moment with my other costume bits on. But I suppose I could take these off and just roll, roll around in gold gear. Um, no, nah, I don't like that. <laughs> Gotta look good while you're grinding. I really need to learn the definition of speedrun, I think. Um, what we got? Yeah, that'll do. So, we're just after more titanium now. So this is one of the nice thing about these planets, is you can just run through, keep slashing, and you get an absolute crap ton of plant fiber. Well, I say crap ton, but you know you don't have to put any effort in other than just what you're, the direction you're moving anyway. So it's guessing we we'll want to, to actually kill everything now. It's probably be cutting down this tree to coal, but we'll see. Anything special in here? Five coal. There you go. That's the reason not to get coal. You get it in chests. Right, guys. I couldn't do it to you. It, it, I couldn't make you sit through that grind. It, it was terrible. And I think from now on, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have to show you the start of <laughs> the start of each ore grind, like showing you guys where I'm basically doing it, 
and then just skip into the end because it's so it's, it's mind numbing and there's only so many ways I can describe walking around a empty planet and picking up the same type of wall for an hour <laughs> it's ridiculous so uh yeah I've got about 130 odds or smelt enough at the moment I'm not uh, this won't be enough for the boss item as well I don't think but um it should be enough for my armor I'm gonna throw in some diamond ore into here to give me some pixels um and hopefully that should be enough for that uh, let's grab that now let's go back to the anvil I see what we've got. So we are trying to make. Uh, I want to take my gold armor off, don't I? To be able to see this stuff. There we go. Do that. Alright, let's go back to here. And so, yeah, we're trying to make the pioneers' chest guard. Let's do the pants and the helmet first of all. Which look pretty snazzy. And. We maybe just have enough for the chest. Come on, full house. Yes, good call. Nice. How does that actually look? That doesn't look too bad now. I think I slightly prefer that. Oh, I might have to wear the full costume. That looks pretty snazzy. I'm going to go with that. So let's open up our costumes chest and throw the scientist stuff back in there. And let's put you back in there. Do we even. Ooh. Last point, can I make my lantern stick yet? Stick. I can. What does it require again? 500 pixels, iron bars, and unrefined wood. Do I not have any, enough iron bars? I swear I had loads. Uh, five. Oh, man. I turned it all into steel, didn't I? For fuck's sake. Why have I done this to myself? I need to get more iron. Oh god, I'm not doing that for a while. <laughs> but um so yeah, we've got for ourselves a nice full set of uh, titanium armor now. Um well, what's next? It's the it's the decoy princess I need to make, I think. Uh so we we're, we're as kitted as we can be. Uh decoy Oh god, I was right. It requires 50 bars. So I'm going to have to do a bit more grinding. Um, I'm also going to have to get myself some fabric and 2,000 pixels. So I'm just going to have to get a lot, myself a lot of diamonds, I think. Um, is there anything else worth building? I suppose I could work towards my platinum pickaxe. Let's throw in some gold. I don't actually need gold anymore now. So I can actually smell all of this. What's the platinum pickaxe going to cost me in regards to XPF. Uh, that's the thing, once you do have the diamond pickaxe you're done. 800 and the diamond's going to be 1,600. So I need 2,400 uh, for that. Um, how much are these going to give me each? 50. Uh, is that going to be, give me 300? Come on, yes. So I can actually now just get the platinum pickaxe, I'm going to do that because that will just let me mine up diamond stuff faster alright so I'm going to head back down into my mines now guys, um, exact same planet, I'm still on um, I'm still on this place just down this this hole I'm going to have to do this all the way down I think crap, oh I'm so dead, I'm so dead oh my god <laughs> why do I do this to myself <sighs> and that's how not to go down a hole, guys. There we go. Let's put these seeds down. There we go. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna say same planet. Just gonna go straight back down this hole again, and uh, farm myself some some pixel, some diamonds for pixels, and some more titanium for the boss item. And to be honest, I'm gonna need more titanium for the next set of armor anyway. So I might just see how much I can get. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second once I've got a lot more resources. Right then, we're back to the surface. I managed to get myself uh, over a hundred more titaniums. That's enough of the boss item. Uh, got some plant fiber for the fabric it requires. Got myself a load more diamonds for the refinery. Uh, so let's throw them in for starters. Um, actually, let me take some of them out. Let me smelt them up. See how many bars I can get out of that. Because once I've got eight diamond 
bars, then that's the pickaxe as well, which is obviously they're being maxed out. Uh, let's start smelting this titanium up. We've got 12 more bars there. So I'm on 27. To be honest, I'm halfway to the boss. So I didn't need to get over 100. But all that's going to do is gear me up for hopefully the next tier anyway, which is nice. So I've got 7 there. Um, let's put you in there. Uh, see what would what do we need for this boss type, boss item again? Decoy princess. What's that cost? Three hundred pixels. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade my bow. There we go. Uh, so decoy princess needs two thousand. So yeah, we are gonna have to throw these in. Two hundred each is nice. There we go. Actually, do I even have enough for that? I don't think I do. Lay oh, I do, yeah, cool. Uh, so I need the 20 fabric. So we're going to come here, type in 20. We don't want to waste our plant fibers, seeing as they also equate to bandages. We'll get then, uh, while we're on that note, let's make as many bandages as we can. Restock that supply. Let's now get all this out. Uh, we're going to come here, we're going to make the decoy princess, and uh, I think that's all we can really do, to be honest. Uh, we haven't managed to find any guns, unfortunately. But that being said, you know, the bow's good enough. So where's the bow gone? Let's put you there. Um, yeah, so I think we're ready for the boss fight. And I'll do that next episode. So, yeah, this has been uh, my speedrun playthrough. The kind of titanium tier. Uh, I've, let me know what you think of this. Uh, as opposed to kind of what I've been doing in the previous ones. Where you've literally just been seeing me mine every single bit of ore. I personally think this way is better. Just because, like, it's you can't... There's only so much you can talk about by yourself. <laughs> really <laughs> like when you're doing the exact same thing for an hour straight which is just looking for one ore and mining it but um, I, I, I personally prefer this style uh, but obviously I'll do whatever you guys want to see so uh, yeah if you've liked this video please remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you thought in the comments below goodbye